Are we going hard up against the joist, Brad? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll just we'll cut some wedges and just kind of wedge it yeah. a bit. Yeah. We've, we've got another attachment. We've got up to three and a half, which is fine, but really. If we hit them, it doesn't matter because we can just get up there and manually pull them out of the way. Yeah. Because at the moment, those two are holding everything, aren't they, really? Those two are holding the plank, which is now squeezing the strong boys against the blocks underneath. So you haven't got the independence to move one independent of the other. Do you need to effectively put your aqua props back on your strong boys, let them take the weight, take the plank down, put some dry plackers on top of the plank. So when you put the plank up, it's able to push against the wall and allow you to move the strong, strong boys in and out rather than at the moment where they're pinched in place. That's, that's, So the nice thing about the prop pals is once the acro's in the end, it's physically locked in. So even if it's a tiny ends up a tiny bit loose in any way, if you tap against it, it doesn't pull it out the end of the uh, acro prop out the end of the, the needle. It uh, makes it a really good safety system. Just you can see there's some there's some muck and something sticking out this side up below that brick. They do make the job look a bit effortless, don't they? That's it, mate, just there, that's it. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's the other way around, mate. Just spin it round under the boom. Lovely job, thanks, mate. Okay. I'm gonna slew round into there now, okay? You good? No, no, I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna lay it down. So I can then pick it up vertically, okay? Cool. I roll it when I lift it. Do you want to just drop a bolt, another bolt in, to stop it spinning? Oh, <laughs> 